Howdy there, Fortnite fans. My name's Luke the Notable, and this here's a Fortnite video. There ain't nothing better than dropping somewhere a hundred times, and that's what I'm doing here. Yeah, we're going to good old Tilted Town. Them's with the days. But listen, folks, understand this ain't old gameplay. It's history. And don't worry, I ain't doing this voice the whole time just for the intro. I dropped Tilted Town 100 times, and this is what happened. So this here's game number one, dropping into Tilted Town. The rules are different in Tilted Town. There's no more breaking or building. And Fortnite's a game all about building and breaking, but not if you're standing in Tilted Town. The weapons here are a little retro too. I've got the infantry rifle and hunting rifle, which aren't in the game, except in Tilted Town. Well, I guess technically none of this is in the game anymore because the game is totally different now. But like I said earlier, this is history. You know, I figured 100 games of no break and no building to be good for the soul. So that's why I dropped here 100 times. And if you know what you're doing, you can leave Tilted Town with a good amount of materials and weapons, but this is game number one, so I had 30 of each. But that was about all I needed to destroy this nearby Nagas. You know, with everything going on at the time, dropping Tilted Town was definitely a good change of pace. Though at this time in Fortnite's history, the mechs were pretty inescapable. You honestly needed one to win. But despite the mechs, this one was gonna come down to a good old fashioned box fight. And I fought well, but I was pretty low to begin with. I put my sheriff's hat on for game two, so you know I'll play better. I dropped right on top of an automatic rifle, which was definitely in the Wild West. Accurate depiction of history or not, most of your kills here will likely come from a pump. But that does mean most of your deaths will also come from a pump. It won't be a pump that kills you every single time. Here I'm picking up the double barrel shotgun. It's one of the highest damage per second guns in the entire game. And at this time, it could only be found in Tilted Town. But because it was a vaulted weapon outside of Tilted Town, you could take people by surprise with it. Yeah, but I'd trade it all away just to touch the minigun one more time. Even though in this particular game, the minigun didn't end up working out for me. Game four is fixing to be a hot one. And I started killing almost immediately. Armed with nothing but a hunting rifle, I saw my chance to kill this shotgun arm default in one. Then we had a big old party in the middle of town and I was on top of a building shooting at everyone. I got several kills. Of course, when I went down to loot, I was almost swallowed up by the system, but with my blue pump, I made it out. And by the time I left Tilted Town, I had six kills. But for John Wick, that's pretty low. Anyway, now it's time for the final circle. Three people left until I killed one of them. Last guy was above me and I got shotgunned pretty bad. I tried to build out of it and 90 would my way to second place. Hey, check out game five. I was wearing Mr. Cat and when I entered Tilted Town, I changed into Calamity. That was strange. You know what wasn't strange? That pump shot. I transformed into Calamity at the start of this match, and I ended up dying as her. But at least the guy that killed me died too. Oh yeah, this metal murder machine from the future is gonna go real good with this Old West aesthetic. Joke's on me though, the mech's actually terrible inside of Tilted Town because you can't destroy anything. I left the mech only to get shotgunned by some guy live streaming. My favorite drop was the little farmhouse down here, and not only because it's right where the basketball court used to be. The farmhouse had great loot, and if you could hold this staircase, you could hold the whole building. It was really easy. After looting, I'd go into town where it always gets a little more rowdy. And in game seven, I was able to leave with my life and a bush. I snuck up on a default just trying to heal with a cozy campfire. I'm sure he'll never use one of these things again. After scarring that default, I made it to the final circle where I played fairly risky for a guy who hasn't won yet. One guy left and it's a default with a rocket launcher. I was fairly confident I could drop down and kill him, but failed the drop down part. You know, I'll probably never wear this skin again, so enjoy it. And if you watch carefully, you can also enjoy this sweet, sweet pump shot. That was pretty much the coolest thing I did. Tilted was quiet this time. And then I grabbed a giant robot and made my way to the final circle. This circle was not the kindest, but thanks to my gold combat shotgun, now it's a one versus one. I could do it! I had a rocket launcher and fairly good guns, but pretty low health. Tilted Town got really bad a little faster than usual in game nine. I blacked out, but I woke up in a massive pile of loot. I'm sure no one got hurt. Whatever, let's just get on with it. I'm going for three second places in a row. I held the high ground and the all powerful minigun, so my chances were actually pretty good in this one. My arch rival then approached me, but using my minigun, I was able to put on some serious damage. He then came into the minigun zone, and I unknowingly got one of my last minigun wins. <laughs> miss him so much. Game 10, I had no shotgun, and I ran into another partner that had one. I was really wondering what was gonna happen to Peely when I entered Tilted Town. Oh. Nothing. This definitively proves that Peely is the greatest skin of all time. I found a gold combat shotgun, and I got a lucky mech spawn. Stonks. And I know you were all wondering what happens when you make it plantain with the mech. Here you go. I spent most of this game destroying stuff with the mech. It doesn't farm materials anymore. I'm just mad at the world. Now there's three people left, and one of them just hijacked me. It's okay. I had my minigun and a sawed-off shotgun, which you definitely didn't expect. And as my minigun ran dry, I switched to my sawed-off and then to my scar to win the game. I just want to say, Fortnite, this is nowhere near enough banana paraphernalia. Game 12, I had Tilted Town all to myself. 
some free real estate. I had great guns from Tilted, so I just farmed mats all game. And you always have to be sure to check those shacks for some defaults. Anyway, left my mech and died, because you pretty much need him at this point. Game 13 was bad, for several reasons, and I'm glad it's over. But this is game 14. Let's see how it goes. Dad always said going to dance college wouldn't be worth it, but look at me now. Most games I'd go right to Loot Lake. The middle of it was a rift, and sometimes you could get some nice easy sprays. Final circle started to close, and this player tried to pounce me with his glider. But because I had a combat shotgun, he was pretty much already dead. Now I had the high ground, and the only other player in the match was hunkering down under me. I shot him for about 12 years, and I think he ran out of materials, so I was able to bounce him outside of the circle. He didn't learn, came right back, and I bounced him again. The other guy wasn't able to recover from that second bounce, and I won the game. Just know I would have kept bouncing him. He's lucky he's dead. Nothing really going on in game 15, just the usual. I mean, I guess I killed a couple guys, but that's pretty regular for Tilted Town. Then later, I started shooting my compadres on top of the roof of the farmhouse, which was a bad idea. It's pretty flat. I played as Toxic Trooper in game 16, and at least I didn't die immediately. There's no need to do any of that useless building in Tilted Town. If you've got a rock, you're good. The fun didn't stop. I went up to Loot Lake and used my sawed off to pump combo. Then later, used my minigun to secure a nice third party and good loot. Just kidding. He was actually way gooder than me. Game 17, right as I got my first taste of a little murder, I was killed myself. These no building shotgun duels can get a little tricky, but I'll tell you that they always end up being pretty fun. I think the whole point of Tilted Town was to take us back to a time in Fortnite where not everyone could build. I think at the time it was a nice contrast to everything else going on around the map. Maybe in a world of giant metal death robots, it's good to go back to simpler times. Nah, just kidding. We'll sell it out to Batman. Anyway, I didn't win in this game. I was just using it to make several points. And you can already tell that game 19's over when this other player picks up a blue pump. Eh, a little shotgun dueling by the outhouses in game 20. Most of the game was spent in a robot. It's season X. That's what they wanted. This one was gonna be tough. 1v1, final circle, other player has a mountain. Using a purple impulse grenade, I tried to take him down, but he was a smart little soccer skin and built me out. He didn't fear the minigun and killed me pretty quickly. You know, I actually made it to the final circle and played pretty well in game 21 as well. Later on though, I fought a guy and messed up trying to get away with my launch pad, then died. I'm a free man playing on mouse and keyboard in game 22. I'm getting better. My pump can definitely be pretty accurate. But then again, so was this guy's. The fighting started almost immediately in game 23, and luckily for me, no one shot my large head. Now we got two bubble shields and three players. There's no way this is ending clean. One chased after a default, and I chased after him. And when the dust settled, I was dead. Game 24 was a little messy, but I'm Jack Gordon, I'll probably be fine. You can already tell I'm getting better at securing loot here in Tilted Town. There's some good stuff if you know where to look. I'm still not very practiced with this sawed off shotgun though. Here I missed both shots. Though the other guy hesitated, allowed me to reload my shotgun, and I got it. Later on, I was minigunning, and like most times, it got a little out of hand. I could see death building up to me, and I tried to stop it with my sawed off, but only got off one shot. Game 25, I'm playing Arsenal, a limited time game mode. The circle's always fixed in this game mode, so it was 100% action in Tilted Town. And for all to see in the streets of Tilted Town, I asserted my dominance, won the game, and I think I'm Sheriff now. I was playing the Arsenal game mode the entire day. It was a lot of fun, and this one ended up being in Tilted Town again. Unfortunately, I didn't play as well. Apparently, the Sheriff is an elected position. Game 27 is pretty much the most standard Tilted Town game I can offer. I killed two players in the open streets with my pump shotgun. And then some other guy with a pump shotgun killed me! Whoa. Hey listen, TTV bot trash can. If you weren't streaming and need the footage, hit me up, I got you. Game 28 is labeled appropriately. Thanks, Fortnite. I left with a chug jug and found a llama. This game was going pretty great, but while messing around on a drift board, I got shot a couple times. I tried, and I missed, and I died. I deserve it. This might look a little nuts, but Tilted was about normal in game 29. I'm just getting better at dealing with it. Next, I went down to Loot Lake and got two more kills. Later on in Pressure Plant, I was attacked by a mech. And when I saw the rockets coming at me, I jumped off. But as you can see, I miscalculated. This default outside probably should have just ran away. I don't know what his plan was. I feel like it's season three Fortnite. I'm getting so good at one ticking guys with my pump. And you know, I'm getting a little used to that sawed off shotgun as well. Later on, it was a 1v1 in the final circle and my primary threat was zombies. And I was literally fighting an uphill battle. With the high ground, he controlled the fight, but I put up a good fight myself. It also didn't help that he had a heavy sniper. I lost that one, but I played okay. Game 31 was fine. I left early. I didn't find good guns and felt inadequate. I made it as far as the block before being combat shotgun to death by a default. Game 32, I picked up the early gun and even a launch pad. Hopes were high and I started shooting a player, but when I went around back to finish the job, I was gunned down. This one's weird. We got Mr. Scuba Booba on for game 33 and he turns into dead fire. Well, now at this point, it 
doesn't matter how many people I kill, they'll be looking for dead fire. This is Fortnite Season 10 gameplay, so that also means that this is a real person with thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Nowadays, you shoot someone just standing there, you know you're shooting at a computer. Even though Polar Peak got pretty trash near the end, I was on top of it in this final circle. And I was on top of it the whole time. Won the game by spraying my SMG, which is the next best thing to a minigun win. Nothing really happened in game 34, at least in Tilted Town, it was pretty quiet. I looted up pretty good and went over to Loot Lake, like always. I just wanted to touch the light! Why does it have to end this way? Game 35, I had a revolver and somehow didn't choke. I'm playing on mouse and keyboard here, and even though it looks a little faster, still know that I'm better on a controller. Things were going okay in this one. The circle was closing around the mountain I was camping on. I got pushed by a player, and I could almost immediately tell that he was very, very good. I gave it my all with the sawed off, but his pump was pretty practice. I'm dropping in with Flytrap in game 36. I'm surprised he got a duster. I got a minigun though, which was really good in Tilted Town. No one could build against it. I left Tilted Town to farm up mats, get some more guns, that sort of thing. But as the circle started to close, I could tell that this one was gonna end right near Tilted Town. I did the responsible thing and hit in the buildings. They're indestructible. I had the high ground, and he couldn't build up to me because it's Tilted Town. Nice. And when I went in for the final shot, I missed both of them. But luckily, I had my minigun and won the game. Yes! Just, just, yes! For many different reasons, this is probably my favorite win of all time. At least top three. Game 37, I wasn't really sure what this guy was doing, but I put him out of his misery. Using my keen defaulty instincts and a little bit of luck, I was able to leave Tilted Town alive. But you know, once I left Tilted Town, there really wasn't anywhere I liked going. The map was pretty weird at this time. It got pretty bad near the end. Whatever, I'm gonna fight my way through with my impulse grenades and a little bit of defaulty hope. That first guy left and gave me all of his items voluntarily. But honestly, I think I got a little bit too excited. I probably would have killed this guy if I had remembered to reload. Game 38, I dropped in, grabbed an early gun, and this default had already given up. So I did the honorable thing. I went over to the mine and was attacked by a player who thought I was stealing his diamonds. However, then a soccer skin heard the commotion, and I was very close to killing him. Game 39, with nothing but a revolver, I was determined to move my way up in this world. I had everything a panda could want, but I still finished the job with my revolver. I also happened to catch this player at the absolute perfect moment. He had no defenses and died. Ha <laughs> ha! After that, I pretty much did what pandas do best, hide in a bush. Now, actually, pandas are known for their ability to pilot large machines of war. I was certified dazzled when I was looting that player, and I got shot. That's generally what tends to happen. You gotta build those boxes, kids. I also tried the minigun from way too far away. That was bad. Well, it looks like game 40 is already going terribly. I was able to kill a default with my infantry rifle, but then a guy with the pump showed up. Because he killed me, I'm obligated to subscribe to his YouTube channel. You might think I'm lying, but I actually did it. You know, I can't recall the name of this skin, but it doesn't matter because now I'm dead fire. And now I'm dead. Game 42, I didn't find anyone until I made it outside of Tilted Town, where I found a default just farming materials. Oh, uh, turns out he was a mega default. Look at all that loot. I got caught up in some more fighting, as one generally does near Salty Springs. That guy had a minigun, and I used it against this soccer skin to die. Later, I watched him get killed by a default, though, so I don't have to subscribe to his YouTube channel. I do have to start using code Cryptics, though. He'll be happy. I buy a lot of V-Bucks. This was like my favorite skin until they smeared all this brown stuff on it. I'm breaking in Tilted Town in game 43. The law is for cowards. I'm just now realizing I basically leave with my favorite loadout every time I drop Tilted Town. Something to move around with, decent rifle, sawed off shotgun, minigun, and of course, the minis. My only complaint about Tilted Town is that you could only get up to a blue rifle. I still don't really understand why an automatic rifle drops in a Wild West location anyway, but whatever. I mean, it's not like it matters. Just like Tilted Town, I'm dead. All this game has really led to some body changes, but I'll fit it all into the duster. This is one of those dusters that didn't technically change the skin, but it definitely looks a little off. But you know what isn't off? My pump shot. They're pretty clean. But then while switching out pumps, some guy came after me and I was pretty low from that first fight. Game 45 is gonna get real hot. My dragon glider is just a coincidence. I had a pump and was hiding inside of a house in the middle of town. Until this player surprised me from behind. I shot him and we went our separate ways. And this guy was walking around outside of Tilted Town with his pickaxe out. So of course I shot him. I was minding my own business wandering around town when I caught a severe case of tuberculosis. I'm doing a red dead redemption reference because I don't know what else to say. Dropped right on top of a shotgun in game 46 though, so things were looking up. I spent most of the game daydreaming about what it would have felt like to hit that hunting rifle shot. We kept fighting, and I was able to hit him once in the body. And I'm not sure about you guys, but to me, it looks like I definitely shot that guy. I was feeling like I needed a little more action in game 47, so I dropped right on top of the biggest building in Tilted Town. From here, I increased my status in society by taking down others. You remember what I said about the farmhouse staircase. If you can control that, 
you can control the whole building. The old sawed off helps too. I was doing pretty good when I left Tilted Town. At least I had a bush. The sawed off shotgun was easily one of my biggest allies this season, especially when dropping Tilted Town. I don't think anyone expected it, but I bet you didn't expect I'd launch into the final circle in such a fashion. I'm gonna be playing the low ground with three people left and one of them is definitely a default on his first day. I just wanted to take a look at the little guy, but the other player shot him. That default was the closest thing I've ever had to a friend. You, sir, are going down. Taco time was new today, if you couldn't already tell. Game 48 got off to a great start with this snipe behind a rock. By this point, I'm starting to really get all of the different angles you can take on players in Tilted Town. Too bad this game changes every 43 seconds, or I might be able to get good at this. When I went up to Loot Lake, it got a little hectic, but I've done this enough times that I know exactly where to impulse to get to safety. I was able to make it all the way to the floating island in the sky and got sniped by a player better than me. Game 49, I dropped on top of an old hunting rifle and was able to find a juice box in the dirt. I only had a hunting rifle, but the Tomato Clan has been at war with the Burger Boys for generations, so I'm no stranger to combat. Oh sure, I'd prefer a shotgun, but I don't necessarily need one. Anyway, I got caught in kind of a rough spot and wasn't able to get out with my impulse nades. I never did find a shotgun, but that guy did. Game 50, I was able to use my pump shotgun to kill this player. I looked up his YouTube channel, and there's about 15 different dreams. After that, I pretty much just ruined the fun of everyone else in Tilted Town. I was just trying to add to my copious amount of pump shotgun kills when someone got me. This this time I wore my bot skin with my little bot buddy on the back. Neither of us can feel pain, but now we don't have to feel loneliness. I heard quite the commotion in the center of town and kept the peace with my minigun and kept all the loot. I got outside Tilted Town and started farming materials with some harvesting tools from an unnamed promotion. You'll have to pay me directly to be mentioned. Later I got in a fight and pulled out my trusty sawed off shotgun, but it wasn't very trusty this time. Nothing really going on in Tilted Town in game 52 except some mighty fine sniping. I left that old life in the dust to start a new career killing defaults in Pressure Plant. This guy wasn't a default, but still qualified for several discounts. Did you know you could hide a mech at the bottom of the Pressure Plant lift? I bet Epic Games didn't. There's no need for those terrible machines. I prefer a more earthy lifestyle. Now it's a 1v1 in the final circle, and the other guy has no idea I'm just a bush. Sweats don't think like noobs. He's looking for a guy building, 90 ing that sort of thing. He's not looking for a bush. So I pitter-pattered up to his building and hit a pump shot to win the game. The bush life is a hard life but it's a good life. Game 53, I started with nothing but a revolver. Now there was definitely a guy above me, but I had no idea there was a guy behind me. Definitely another guy that wants to make a cameo in the video though. And when I went to kill him, I used my hunting rifle. This clip proves why you should always be careful inside a tilted town. I went down to finish this guy with my shotgun and someone else shot him. And by now I'm getting used to the bubble shields. I mean, I did play Halo 3. Now before we go on, would anyone like to see the five minutes of Matt farming before I get to the final circle? No? Okay, we'll just move on then. These guys can shoot at me all they want. It doesn't matter when I get up and close with my sawed off shotgun. Five people left in the circles moving up Polar Peak. It's never easy when this happens, but it definitely didn't help that there were a ton of players around me. But you know, with the little scar spraying and those trap things you put on the side of walls that were in the game for like two days, I got a kill. Now it's a one verse one and I'm literally in a castle. He pushed me, so I pushed him, but a little sloppily, so I lost the high ground. Then I ran out of materials and you guys probably know what happens next. I can just tell by the amount of people coming to Tilted Town today, it's not gonna be a good one. In this one, I had nothing but a Slurp Juice, Green Pistol, my own bravery, and pickaxe. But then as soon as I got a pump, I missed every single shot that I took with it, and I came in 56th place. I died too soon. I guess I could have switched the last game with this one, but I'm honorable. No. Notable. Well, game 56 is going pretty good. I had an obvious advantage from the start, which allowed me to surpass my equally skilled peers. I did this all on my own. Get out of the farmhouse, default. This is my staircase, my property. Yeah, but then I went into town and wasn't able to take out this fearless skin. He was definitely fearless. There ain't no way this guy's getting a duster. It just ain't happening. Well, it doesn't look that bad. But you know, it doesn't look great, so I'm kind of glad I got deleted. Game 58, I dropped Tilted Town, so I couldn't break anything, except this default spirit. Then I snuck my way into a bubble shield brawl and got the last shot to take all the loot. After that, I had to use a mech, by order of Epic Games. Final circle, I'm on 69 health and mistakenly set down a cozy campfire. I held the high ground, and another player held my shotgun bullets. Now, it is a one versus one. The only other guy in the match wasted no time and tried to take down my structure, but with a clever impulse grenade, I saved my own life. From there, I took the high ground back and sprayed into the other player until he was dead. Pretty simple win. Game 59, I didn't have a shotgun, but I was still able to sneak around and get an easy kill. But have you heard the one about the guy that died when he tried looting? 
I haven't. Oh no, I died later. I thought I smelled a guy on the staircase and he pumped me. We're going as John Wick in game 60, mostly for tradition, a little bit for the power. I did have to go through some soccer skins, but I was determined. And this shooting is honestly pretty bad, but you know, when it was all said and done, he was dead and I wasn't. I even killed a Lux, just to prove that John Wick is still the best tier 100 skin. By the time I left Tilted Town, I was ready to do some killing and winning. Hanging out in Greasy Grove, just trying to eat some tacos, and this guy tried to trap me in. But I'm John Wick. That won't work, Rapscallion. I default danced down to Fatal Field, where the circle was closing, and I was killing. I was feeling hashtag blessed until I heard a guy behind me, and when I tried to get away with my impulse grenade, I died. Game 61, I left Tilted Town early. My prospects weren't too great. Using my pretty low tier guns, I was able to kill this player and take his loot. After that, I minigunned my way into the final circle, killing many scared players along the way. Now it's time for a one versus one, and my minigun's pretty good, but so is the other guy. I tried to get as much damage as I could. I could end this with a lucky pump shot, but I didn't. Drop it in game 62 on the clock tower with pumpkin spice wick. I could hear a lot of gunfire and screaming in the distance, so I left. I could see a default in the distance farming mats where the stadium used to be, and I was fixing to bully him. Who knows, maybe I'll sneak up behind him and pump shot him. No, no, I know what I'll do. I'll sneak up behind him, pump shot him, but right before I'll default dance. Well, I guess he was actually sneaking up on me. I whipped out the quad stair rush and he was busy shooting at the bottom of my structure, and I killed him. He got close, but I definitely had a few more layers. I was farming mats outside of Tilted Town, and that's just totally dumb, right? When I saw the stink bombs come out, I knew this was gonna be a tough one. I got the high ground easy, but I let him shoot me, and you generally die when that happens. Well, would you look at that, game 63's already off to a bad start. Though I was able to confuse the other players and kill them with my pump shotgun. I went to Loot Lake and then killed the default who doesn't know you're not supposed to jump here. Later I was flying and spotted some fresh juicy meat down below. I'm pretty sure he never heard me coming until right at the end. I miss you, minigun. I just, I just really miss you. This time around the circle was gonna get incredibly small, with three people left in it. And when you got a small circle like this, it's never a good idea to be on the low ground. Minigun or not, I was pretty low on health and pretty low on materials, so you know I wasn't gonna last long. I'm not exactly sure what about this skin is illegal, but I can't wear it inside Tilted Town. I found a guy out back of the farmhouse without a gun. Stone cold, never showed an ounce of fear. I was just looting when I got shot through this window. It had never happened before. Though he ran up and pumped me, which happens all the time. By game 65, I'm pretty sure I know how the dusters work, and I should turn into Calamity with this skin when I drop Tilted Town. Yep, I'm pretty sure in Tilted Town, most forms of headgear, except for cowboy hats, are illegal. I got a few more kills, including one near a bubble shield before transforming back into a bunny. The circle got really small in this one. I noticed since Zone Wars, it's been like this. I just kept healing and hoped the other guy would die before me. But I'm sure you bunny owners can attest to this. They don't live very long. Dropping in with Hazard Agent for game 66. In the open streets of Tilted Town, this player challenged my minigun, and of course, lost. The fighting continued outside of Tilted Town, but by this point, I'm getting really good at using not only the sawed-off shotgun, but comboing it up with the minigun to get tons of kills. I'm gonna make sure I'm coming at this final circle at max power this time. But you know, if you give me that minigun, I'm already starting off at maximum energy. You just heard we made a ton of noise there, so the only other guy in the match started shooting me. But then I started shooting him with my minigun, and then he died. We've finally done it, and with the minigun, I'm so proud. You know, I really don't know what's gonna happen to this guy when I go into Tilted Town. Just as I thought, I'll lose my llama and legs and keep my dragon. Somehow I played okay. I always seem to get destroyed when I use this skin. Don't worry, this game's only getting started. There's a lot more time for me to get destroyed. And now we're in the final circle, if you couldn't tell just by looking at it. I was determined to take my two pets and this minigun all the way to the end. But while minigunning, I got sniped. I stuck around and watched the guy that killed me get killed. I think he might have to switch to Mixer now. Doesn't game 68 always feel a little bit like Christmas Eve? I had several surgeries this game. It's more common in the West. Right as I dropped in, I found a shotgun and found a default just trying to loot up a chest. I may have default danced on him. Yeah, but then one of his defaulty borders heard and he was not too happy about it. Jose Chorizo 29 enforces the law in these parts. I know I have the duster on, but you gotta know there's a 69 under there. Essentially, I just used boulders and the element of surprise to get most of my kills. And by the time I left Tilted Town, I had a bush, 2,000 materials, and quite a lot of hope. Because I'm a 69 soccer skin, instead of going right into the Loot Lake Rift, I decided to camp it. And I ended up getting totally what I deserved. I only had three revolvers in Game 70, but by this point, I'm getting pretty decent with them. Llamas are known for their skill in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but because of their hooves with guns, they're not that great. Hey, llamas have hooves, right? I'm in the final circle again, because I've played this game every day for like two years. But thanks to this supply drop, I've probably got the best loadout in the game, at least for me. It still got pretty crazy, and I had to impulse grenade out of there. I thought I was safe, until I got boogie bombed. Obviously, I died, but the game ended pretty much right after that. Apparently, this form of hat is legal inside of Tilted Town. Nice. Not sure why, but there were a lot of new 
boobs today. And this was the time before bots, so this is a real guy doing this. Well, sir, hope you have a good life. One robot later and I'm in the final circle. I was playing low ground, kinda just hoping I could get lucky with the sawed off shotgun. The other guy had a heavy sniper, so he jumped right in and killed me. There's no way you could possibly tell what skin I dropped as in game 72. And no one will ever know, because now I'm dead. Spent most of my time game 73 just dealing with the loiterers. Even though I trained my whole life for this, it's been a while since I've had a proper dance battle. And I lost. Game 74, I killed a guy not moving. He was probably just taking a dump. I don't really want to talk about what happened. It was terrible. I haven't played Ice King in a while. He reminds me of the zombies. I'm also incredibly shocked that he has a duster. Well, he is the king. Now I'm hanging out in the final circle shooting defaults that should know better. The final player in the match pushed me with an impulse grenade and I shot him on the way in. He tried to build up, but I was quick to get over him and took the win. You know, I played the saxophone for like a year in fourth grade. Game 76, I enjoyed my time shooting people outside of Tilted Town. Yeah, this is one of those games where later on I should have just walked away. I killed this guy, but I died because of it. I made a mech friend in game 77. That is until some human hopped in my upper regions. Everything was fine, he just needed France. I was doing pretty good in this game until I got lasered pretty horribly in the final circle. I was on low health and trying really hard to survive until that rocket came in. <laughs> game 79, I got in on some rooftop killing I probably should have stayed out of. Game 80, some guy sent me a message it was his birthday. So we dropped into some tilted town duos and minigun people together. Tragically, he did die on his birthday, but at least I clutched out the win. I earned this default dance, and I did it proudly. I'm a little embarrassed, but game 81 is where I learned the easy jump to the top of the farmhouse. I let a ton of loot rot up here, all hundred drops. Doesn't really matter though, Tilted Town doesn't exist anymore. This game takes away everything we love every few weeks. Game 82 is just dumb and bad, so we're gonna get over with it quick. Wow, that was painless. Next game, not much going on in Tilted Town in game 83, just some bad shotgunning. I died later in a semi-respectable position. And we can head through game 84 quick too. I was killed by a little Jimmy. Game 85, this is the coolest thing that I did. I played pretty well, making it to the final circle with one health. But when I tried to get some better position, I was shot. This is game 86, and it's definitely not notable. But at least I looked good on game 87. I did some great work in game 87, and by work, I mean shooting people. But somehow I just can't ever seem to get off that impulse grenade. And game 88 is just terrible. The only good thing is I came in 88th place. Game 89, someone snagged the farmhouse, but I know where to get tons of loot by this point. So by the time it came to fighting, even though I was up against the all-powerful minigun, I still won. I had kind of a weird loadout in this final circle, no rifle, but I do have a minigun rocket and sniper rifle. Even though I'm probably the deadliest thing Fortnite has ever seen, I didn't have to use a single gun to win this game. Don't worry, I think I got more wins in me. So here we are in the last 10 games. I'm a soccer skin with 90 on the back, but obviously I'm wearing the duster so you can't see that. There was a little defaulty nonsense in Tilted Town, but nothing I couldn't handle. However, this time the rock was not strong enough to save me. I had a revolver duel in game 91 that ended when I honorably ran away. I made it a little while longer until I ran into this guy who knew what he was doing with a box, and I'm okay with it, but not that great. Game 92 started like any other Tilted Town game. There was a lot of violence. Cartoon violence, so it's okay for advertising. Waltzed into the final circle with the tactical SMG. Even a blue one was basically a handheld minigun. As the circle closed, I took a little bit of damage and now I'm on the low ground. Though even now with that sawed off shotgun, I took a lot of guys by surprise. Three players left and I used my rocket to turn it into a one versus one. I had full health, a rocket launcher, and a sawed off shotgun, so I figured I'd just push in and see what happens. And you know, he blew himself up. That one felt real smooth. I ain't bothering anyone in game 93. Well, there was this default I killed and now I'm posting the video on social media. Someone came after me almost immediately. Throughout the season, Loot Lake got a lot more traveled. Most of game 94 is me just sneaking around. I had a green pump and wanted to attack someone before they were ready. Oh, a blue pump. I can surprise him even gooder now. The irony of this old clip is that someone was watching me the whole time. I dropped in as the real dead fire for game 95. Can't believe I haven't done this already. Tilted Town was Tilted Town. I've never felt safe for one second dropping here. My lawyers say I'm not supposed to talk about what happened here. Well, it was, uh, you know, it was worth a shot. I'm out here rooting and tooting in game 96. As I was flying towards this mech, someone self-destructed it. Whoa, I tried to trap him in, but with that tactical SMG in his hand, he was pretty much unstoppable. And like three or four games in the past, when I tried to get away, I didn't. He didn't pick up the minigun, so you know he's uneducated. Game 97, I was stuck in a basement, but using a grenade, I was able to get one kill. The other guy had a little more intelligence and didn't run directly onto my grenade. I ain't running. I'm taking this minigun to the grave. I got injured pretty early in game 98. 
nauseating with the medicine of this time, it wasn't looking good for me. But with a quick pump, I secured a chug jug. Yeah, but you know how it goes after chugging, I was injured again. Then, just as the dust settled, the dust picked up again. He used chemical warfare, which as of chapter two is illegal, so this game ended in a no contest. I really don't know what got into me in game 99, I just had a taste for that sweet, sweet murder. For this one, I'll give myself an A for effort, but for placement, a C minus. Here we are, it's game 100. This guy looks excited. Tilted Town brought me back to a simpler time, and while these games were hard fought, they were a lot of fun. I remember a time in Fortnite when even when you could build, most of your fights would look like this, dancing around each other until someone landed a pump shot. It's just amazing how Fortnite was able to capture the same magic of those early days with Tilted Town. So one last time, with four kills, I walked out of Tilted Town on a mission to win the game. I brought the sawed off, wanted to make sure I had a piece of Tilted Town with me. A lot happened around Loot Lake. Like I said, foot traffic here was increasing and that means more bodies. I got just north of Loot Lake and decided to end this llama's entire career, but he ended mine. Tilted Town easily goes down as one of my favorite locations ever in Fortnite. It just had a certain charm, and I hope maybe one day we'll get something like this again. But until then, I'll be dropping into whatever Fortnite throws at us, so make sure to hit that LTN logo on screen to subscribe to my channel right now so you don't miss the next 100 drops. Or you could go watch 100 drops, I've made about a thousand of them at this point, there's a helpful little playlist right here. But that's it for the video, Fortnite fans. Thank you all for watching. Please, stay notable, and I'll see you in the next video.